Welcome to the Vintage Girl Next Door. My name is Lacey and today I have a thrift haul for you. Finally! <laughs> I've been doing some thrifting, but I have not been making a thrift haul, so there's quite a bit of things. I didn't put everything in here, um, but I did what I could remember. So we will get right into it. <laughs> okay, first up I found a whole bunch of copper molds. I found some cute miniature ones. So I have a few fishes, but I don't have any small fishes. So, and then I didn't have this pineapple one. I also found the grapes and the lobster. And I found the baby lobster. <laughs> and then I found some really miniature ones at a yard sale. And these ones, I have the big mold for all of them, which is fun. So I'm going to put them on the wall next to the big ones. And I got these for $4 at a yard sale. The other ones were around $1.25 each at Catholic Thrift Store. And then the little lobster and the little fish were $5 each at the garage sale store which $5 for a copper mold is a little more than I like to pay, but I didn't have those ones and I'd never seen them before, so I had to grab them. Okay, next up is actually this little blue glass vase that has cat hair all over it. Disregard. Anyway, I found this. It was a dollar at the local thrift store and it, not really sure if it's like the actual stretched glass. It looks like it. I can't really tell, but I liked it and it matches my other turquoise glass, so I got it and it was one dollar. At another yard sale, I picked up this awesome lamp and it does look like the little figurines have been broken off and glued back on, but you can't really tell and it works and it has the fiberglass shade. So I still grabbed it and it was five dollars. It's a super, it's a super cute television lamp, I think, but yeah, I really liked it. I love the style of it. It looks super cute on my vintage TV, so that is where it will go for now. I had to move my vintage poodle lamp to put that one there, but we'll rotate them. Also at a yard sale, I grabbed this vintage 1950s lampshade. Um, it was $5. I don't, I feel like some areas you can find these all the time. In my area, you cannot. This is the first one I found in the wild at a yard sale, so I had to grab it. Even though I don't really have a lamp to go with it right now, I feel like I will. So, better just to get it than wish that you had gotten it. So, yeah. I also thrifted these glass grapes. They're pretty heavy glass. Um, they were two dollars, but I didn't notice that the stem was broken when I grabbed them, but it's not super noticeable, especially if you lay them this way. Um, anyway, I thought they were pretty. I don't know for sure if I will keep them, so if you're interested in some glass grapes, hit me up in the comments. <laughs> I haven't decided what I'm doing with these yet. Uh, they don't match anything else I have, but I just I liked them, so I grabbed them. But yeah, let me know. This next item is not mid-century, however, I could not pass them up. Oh, look at these unicorns. They are 1980s, I believe, um, wall art unicorns, 75 cents each. I couldn't leave them behind. I don't know if you know this about me, but when I was little, my room was covered in unicorns, very similar to the movie Dodgeball with uh, Kate Beach's house. That was my bedroom. So <laughs> I've since gotten rid of most of my unicorn things, but I still really like unicorns. So I got these. I don't know where I'm gonna put them. Maybe in the downstairs guest room? I haven't decided, but I loved them. So I had to grab them. Next up, I also found at a yard sale from the cutest lady ever that I am friends with. And she's so cute. She comes to movies all the time. 
so my good friend Peggy, I got these from her yard sale, and they are some Lucite shoe clips. I thought that they were pretty. I haven't tried them on any of my shoes yet, but so I'll find the perfect pair for them eventually, I'm sure, and I'll rock them. Also from Peggy's Yard Sale was this amazing Coca-Cola. And at first, we, my husband and I didn't know what it was. We thought it was just like a little plastic Coke bottle. So I'll show you up close, and then I'll show you what it is. Right. Cute. So it is actually a lighter. And it works. It strikes. And uh, yeah, super awesome. And it is mid-century Coca-Cola mem memorabilia. So I thought that was so cool. And we paid 50 cents for this one. Next up is a few treasures I found just this last weekend. And I found this. It doesn't say if it's like Glass Bake or Fire King. I don't know. Usually it says on the bottom, but... This one doesn't say, but I have a bunch of these soup bowls that are just plain white, but I couldn't pass this one up because it has a super cute little starburst on this one. And I was so hoping that there would be some other dishes from this set there, but so far I only found this one. So I'm gonna keep going back and hopefully there will be some more. Okay, next up is this pattern and it was 25 cents at the Catholic thrift store. I bought it because I needed a pattern for an apron for my Disney bound that I am doing um, and that I'm working on and you will see it very soon. Um, probably on Instagram first. So if you're not following me over there, head over to Instagram, at Lacey Faye, so that you can be updated. So yeah, so I got this pattern because I needed a pattern for an apron. Next up is also from this last weekend thrifting, and we found this awesome vintage radio. And the guy said that it worked. I don't really know how to work it, so I don't, I haven't turned it on or anything yet. I'm gonna have my husband take a look at it. But it is from 1951. It is, the brand is Igentric All Transistor radio but it's it's so cute I love it so much and even if it doesn't work I think it'll look super cute on my shelf so yes and I paid five dollars for this radio okay next up also from this weekend this super awesome 1950s Kenmore toaster yeah. it's super cute chrome works. I do think I'm going to have my husband redo the plug though. It's looking a little FESC wires. So I think I'll have him redo that plug. Um, but it's an awesome shape other than just the end of the plug. And this one I got at my local antique store, which the super cute lady that has owned and ran it for a million years retired. So her daughters are selling out the inventory and doing a super sale. So even though it was antique store, it was thrift store prices. And for example, this toaster was marked at $48.50 and I got it for $5. So can't beat it. Next up, also from that same antique store, I got these super cute little salt and pepper shaker fish. And it says made in Japan on the bottom. Still has the cork in it. And I just couldn't pass these up. I love fish in my bathroom, but I haven't had any novelty salt and pepper shakers that are fish. So I wanted them and they were marked originally $28.50 and I got them for $5. Next up from that same antique store again, I got this little guy, Chalkware Fish, and he was originally priced $24.50, he was also $5, and 
I am slowly collecting these chalkboard fish for my bathroom. I have some pink ones with some bubbles and I have some little plaque ones that are gold, um, kind of like embossed gold. And now I have this yellow guy. So I need some more yellow to kind of fit him into the scheme of the bathroom because right now it's all pink. So yeah. But I still didn't want to leave him behind. I don't find chalkboard fish ever. Thrifting, like, wherever, I just never find them. And so I had to pick it up even though it doesn't necessarily match right now. I figured I could find some yellow friends for him eventually to fit in in the bathroom. <laughs> Next up, same antique store, same awesome sale. I got this vintage Donald Duck brooch and he was five dollars originally i think he was like 15 so not too huge like the toaster but still a good deal and i couldn't leave him behind i will most likely be wearing him on my trip upcoming to disney world and i can't wait and i just thought he was super cute even though his paint is a little bit faded i still like the look i think that it will look really nice. Okay, we're plugging along. Next up, this is from a yard sale, is this table lamp, desk lamp. I've been using it on my piano as a lamp for that. I have not cleaned it up yet, so it's looking a little rough, but it does work and I thought it looked awesome. It reminds me of a 1950s car. Um, or like an airplane or something. I don't know if you're getting that from it, but I do and I like it. It's a real heavy duty industrial situation here. Um, but yeah, I got this for $4. Okay, these next items are all from the same estate sale. We found an awesome estate sale this summer. There's not very, they don't have them very often where I live. Um, and if they do, it's usually not vintage. It's usually just a hodgepodge of like 90s stuff. So this one we got super lucky at. So I'm gonna show you the things I got from there. First up, I got this Hickok men's wallet, new, brand new in the box, mint condition. It was $5. Um, I got it for my husband. Let me know if you guys want to see the vintage menswear and things like that that I find because I have not been showing them in my thrift hauls um, lately or at all um, but if you want to see that let me know in the comments and I will include those in my future thrift hauls because I do find things quite often for my husband that are vintage so let me know but yeah this wallet brand new never been used new in the box it's very cool it has a lot of handy features. It's got, here's for your photos, and it has a place for stamps. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I don't know if he's going to use it or not, to be honest, because we don't want it to fall apart or get like, ruined or anything like that. So we may just keep it. I don't know. We'll see. See what he decides. Maybe eventually he'll go ahead and use it, but, or just use it when we dress up or something, so dress up fancy, not day-to-day -day vintage wear. Next up from that same estate sale, I got these Cooking Magic Step-by-Step -step Cookbooks from the Culinary Arts Institute, and I got volume one and two. And these are amazing. It's full of smaller books that are like different countries. Um, let me see if I can show you. 159 recipes from Norway, Sweden, and Denmark. And then Hungarian cookbook. And entertaining for six or eight. <laughs> um... Ooh, the cheese cookbook. I'm feeling it. I think there's gonna be some good ones. 179 zestful, exciting cheese recipes. I love it. 
so yeah these are so so cool there's some pretty interesting looking recipes i don't know if you can see this jello mold situation right here it's very intriguing um let's see cooling dishes for hot weather that's a good one for summer new england cookbook 191 favorite all-american dishes yeah, I just, I can't, it's going to take me forever to just look through all these because they're so fun and they have fun little like illustrations in them and so many recipes. Ooh, baked cheese shrimp delight. Hmm. Sausage and spaghetti with cheese sauce. Sensing a theme here with the cheese. Cheese filled veal rolls. Mm hmm Ground meat towers. Yes, I'll have that. Yikes. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> German and Vienna cookbook. Sour cream and buttermilk. All right. Southern and Southwestern cookbook. Low Attempting low calorie recipes. I like it. And the holiday cookbook. So yeah, I couldn't pass these up. These books were, t I got both of them for $5. I still haven't finished looking through them. Um, maybe I'll post some on my stories on Instagram. It's just, it's like too much volume to go through <laughs> right now for you. This video would be two hours long. But yeah, there's like some baking ones in here, Italian, salads, the ground meat cookbook. <laughs> oh, the, they're just so fun and I, I just love it. Even if I never make a single recipe from these, I love having them. I love to look at them and read them and just, it's just so fun. So cooking magic. Next up from that estate sale is this Lady Sunbeam Manicurist set. And I believe this is probably 60s, um, but it's really cool. It has, it plugs in, nail dryer right here. So when you're done, you can stick them under here and dry your nails. I love this turquoise sparkly on the lid. And then it has all of the tools and attachments to do your manicure. And I have not used this yet. It needs to be cleaned and sanitized because um, it's definitely been used before, but it's still in really good shape. So couldn't pass it up. This was $3. Last, last up from that piece. That particular estate sale is these pretty paintings. And these are these beautiful ballerinas. They are 1950s. I've seen these ones on eBay and Etsy. Usually they're about $20 each. I got them for $4. And I've bit I hung them above my bed for now. Um, they may end up moving, I don't know, but I could not leave them behind. I thought they were super pretty and I love them. Okay, last up for non-clothing items is this gorgeous stretched glass vase. And so, so pretty. Um, we typically collect turquoise stretched glass um, but I thought that this yellow one was too pretty to leave behind. It was at the thrift store. I got it for $15, um, which usually they're anywhere from 30 to 50 ish online, I would say. Um, so I thought 15 was definitely worth picking it up. So yeah, it's super pretty. So now I'll have to get more yellow stretched glass because it can't be the only one, right? <laughs> That's what I'll tell my husband. <laughs> okay, I lied. There's one more non-clothing item. And this is an awesome gift from
from the cutest lady. Her name is Betty Jean, and she we she goes to my church. We go to church together, and she came up to me a week ago and said that she had a 1950s new in the box cookie press and some pot holders that was given to her for a party she was throwing in 1951. And so, I think she said 51. She said in the 50s, I don't remember. But she already had a cookie press and so she never ended up opening it or using it and she asked if I wanted it and I said, of course I want it. That would be amazing. And so, here it is. First of all, here's the cute pot holders that her friend gave her, and it almost looks like they may have been like homemade because they're crocheted around the edges. The hook is this cute little hat, and then they snap off um, of the little holder thing. So that was really cute and super thoughtful of her. And then the cookie press, I'll show it to you, new in the box. It is a Miro cook cookie pastry press. And I love the, I even just love the box. Look at how cute it is. With all the little desserts all over it. You can see the cookie press and I will open it, show you. Still has the manual right here with all your instructions, fancy cookies and pastries. And then you've got all of your attachments right here. Let's see if I can get one out to show you better. Geez, they're really in there. Okay, got it. So it's all these little pieces that you can use to press your dough through using your cookie press. So I haven't decided yet if I want to use it or if I want to just keep it. It's, I mean, it's brand new. It's mint condition. Sometimes it's, I'm torn about things like that where it's new in the box and I don't know if I want to use it or if I want to just keep it as is. It's been in this box with my dear friend Betty Jean for 60 years. So I don't know. I feel weird if I, uh, I don't know. Let me know what you do with your mint in the box vintage. Do you open it? Do you use it? Or do you keep it in the box and display it? Let me know. I can't decide, but yeah, Betty Jean, she's the best. She's the cutest lady, so generous with her things and so thoughtful of her to give them to me. Okay, we've made it and we're on to the clothes. So these first two items were things that were also so very generously given to me. First up is this really cute butterfly skirt with pockets. I believe it's 1980s, um, but it does give off a definitely a 50s vibe. It's really cute with the pockets. Um, luckily it's stretchy because it is a little bit small, but with the stretchy waist, I can make it work. And this was just left for me in my office at work. I don't know who gave it to me. I don't know who it's from. So if you're watching, thank you so much. It was so sweet and thoughtful of you. And it just made my day at work to come in and find these beautiful skirts waiting for me. So nice. All right, next up, this was also so very generously given to me by my friend Liz. Hi Liz, if you're watching. She messaged me on Facebook because she was cleaning out her grandmother's uh, garage, I believe. And she messaged me and asked if I wanted this vintage 50s, 60s nightgown set. And I said, yes, of course I do. And she mailed it to me, which was so nice. And she didn't have to do that. And I just so appreciate it. But look at how pretty this set is. Such pretty black lace. And then also the robe that goes over it. 
very cute. Yeah, anyway, super pretty. I love lace, especially, I feel like especially black lace is so pretty. So yeah, these, this will definitely be getting some wear. Thank you, Liz. I just love it and I'm just so overwhelmed with people's kindness and being willing to even to spend their own money to mail a package to send to me is just so nice and I'm so grateful and I just love it so much and I will treasure these things always and wear them and love them so thank you I found this um, denim kind of button-up shirtwaist type dress and it was uh, four dollars I thought that it was really cute it's really soft denim material and so it's so comfortable and it has a tie waist which is also comfortable and it has pockets it just is all checking all the boxes for me <laughs> and it fits great and so I couldn't pass it up the brand says lands of Salzburg I've never heard of it but I do like this dress and it has already gotten a lot of wear <laughs> you may have seen it on Instagram if you follow me there I have definitely worn it probably at least twice since I thrifted it and yeah it's definitely a really great summer dress next up is this Pendleton long sleeve plaid shirt look how pretty this this material is you guys it's made out of wool um, but I love these colors. I thought they were so pretty and I thought this was going to be the perfect shirt to wear in the winter. Now what I really need to find is some good 50s jeans because I feel like that would be the cutest outfit ever. This Pendleton button up shirt with some really good 50s jeans. So hit me up if you know of some that I need to check out. All of the 50s jeans online are really expensive and I don't know if you know of anywhere that has good ones that are a little bit more affordable let me know I'm all about that so I still, I still have the tag on because obviously I'm not gonna wear this it's wool and long sleeve in the summer but it was three dollars and it's uh, older Pendleton I think it's 50s I'm not positive it could be 60s but Either way, I love it, and I definitely need to find an occasion and the jeans to wear this with. <laughs> we made it through. <laughs> Is this 1960s Kimberly wool suit? And this one has uh, the dress part underneath, and then it has this very pretty jacket that goes over it with the lapel and the buttons um, which I really liked it's a little bit big but I can make it work um, definitely and it's a good I think it's gonna be a good transition to fall suit because it is wool so it's definitely thicker material it's not necessarily for summer but I think it will be good as a transition into fall Woo, we did it <laughs> thank you so much for watching this thrift haul I sure hope that you enjoyed it I found so many treasures and I'd love to share them with you let me know down below what was your favorite thing that I found and also comment let me know what treasures you've found lately I, I would love to see and love to know so tag me on Instagram or leave me a comment or both it would be awesome and if you haven't already feel free to subscribe to this channel I love connecting with you and love finding new vintage friends to talk to all the time and so I would love to have you around and I will see you in the next video. Bye!